Well, yeah, guys, thank you again for watching the Black Filipino TV once again. Today, I'm going to touch on things you shouldn't do while you're in the Philippines. Hey guys, back again. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment as well if you have something on your mind and you want to say. And let's get right into it. So today we're going to name this, I'm not sure, maybe things not to do in the Philippines or top five things not to do. I'm not sure yet, but we're going to jump right into it. Before I do, I want to ask you to please subscribe to me, of course, uh, KD Experience, link in the description, and JNK. The first thing you definitely don't want to get caught up with bars okay you don't want to get caught up being in bars too much i mean you can really waste your money with anything it can become addictive and if you're used to living a regular life where you're from and then you come here things are gonna be a lot a lot cheaper even women so guys please for your for your own safety for your own for you to be able to keep money in your pocket don't do it you know now i understand that you're a man and this is for, for the guys of course i understand that you're a man and you know men have many needs i get it but you just want to make sure you don't get caught up in it because you get caught up in that, you know, you'll find yourself spending a little bit too much money and spending overspending than what you planned to spend when you came to the Philippines. Number two, patience. Now, you definitely don't want to bring your bad attitude over here to the Philippines. You know, if anybody knows anything about the Philippines, they're very uh, fun-loving, you know, they can be poor and they don't complain, you know. So, you definitely don't want to bring that energy here with you. Also, you don't want to have a bad attitude or be too aggressive when dealing with Filipinos you know so you definitely want to make sure you're uh, aware of how you're treating different Filipinos in the street at the end of the day if it comes down to a case and that you against a Filipino I mean who do you think is gonna win most of the time the only thing you have for protection out here really and he's a really good guy and, and big ups to him because he makes sure foreigners are treated fairly is Rafi Tufa and most of the time he may not be able to take your case so you know, you definitely don't want to rely on Rafi Tufa to make sure you're okay. Just don't get into it. Yeah, guys, you definitely don't want to get involved in politics when you're in the Philippines. There's laws passed against this, and I'm sure you can see it uh, in the video here now. There's laws passed against this a, a couple of years ago, not a couple, a little more than that. But um, there was laws passed because the Philippines absolutely doesn't want you getting involved in politics. You know, it's even to a point to where back, back a long time ago, they've even banned... Um, they banned uh, actresses and actors for talking about these things, you know? So, it's something you don't want to get involved in. You don't want to get caught up with talking about the country. You definitely don't want to get involved in politics. You know, say if you're in a certain barangay, you don't even want to get involved with helping a barangay captain get elected. Just don't do it. Stay away from it. Don't drive when you first come to the Philippines. <laughs> now, when I first got here, right, I was living by, uh, close by the Mall of Asia, um, living in Pasay. And when I, when, I, when I was on the roads, you know, we got to a road, I was in the grab, we got to a certain road. I go into Mall of Asia, and I'm sure many of you know this road. And the road splits off this way, this way, this way, straight. And it was nighttime when I was going there, right? And it wasn't that much traffic. So I'm looking, I pretty much didn't know where to go. And I could just imagine myself driving and I don't know where I'm going and getting into an accident, you know? And also what happens is Filipinos they understand the drivers here and they understand how to drive. I mean, Filipinos are some of the best drivers in the world, I believe, because, you know, when you see them driving, they usually avoid the different accidents. I see it happen all the time from different grab drivers. They actually avoid these accidents. Now, these are certain accidents that you wouldn't be able to avoid because you may not understand how, the, uh, how everything works here as far as how people drive, how people uh, drive recklessly, people that are extra safe. You know, Filipinos usually have the uh, lay of the land as far as the road, and they understand the drivers here. So definitely, you I would say wait a week, maybe driving around in a grab to make sure you understand, to see the, the attitudes of the drivers and to see, you know, um, how they move through traffic. So you can see certain things. You have to look out all the time. You have to have your head on the swivel, you know, because the, uh, the bikes here, the uh, motorbikes, it's like there's no laws for it. Like I know where I'm from in the US, you know, the motorbikes can't drive on the side of you. But here, you know, the motorbikes drive on the side of your car. So you have to be very aware of motorbikes because you can hit a person and wouldn't even realize it, you know, because you you may be used to looking straight on the road, maybe looking in your rear view mirror to the side. But here, you need to be like this all day long. So that's driving in the Philippines. So if you're not ready for it, 
if you like a brand new driver, you definitely want to get caught up in driving here right away. I've even seen a, a guy one time when I, when I first came out here, and he looked like he was African, he got an accident. Now the reason he got an accident, because there wasn't a stop sign at the street he was trying to get through. You know, it was on a back block somewhere. And usually you have to understand, okay, did this person have the right of way? There is no right of way. So, you know, it depends on if the person stops or not. So you kind of have to be a little bit cautious in the road. You definitely can't get caught up speeding because you can get in a bad accident and you can kill somebody or yourself. So beware when you're driving or don't drive at all when you first come. I'm sure all of you guys heard it before. When you're in the Philippines, don't do drugs. My God, I hate drugs. All right, now the reason why you don't want to say, for instance, if you have a weed habit and you're used to getting weed back where you're from, of course, there's going to be Filipinos that smoke here. You know, there's, there's people that smoke weed everywhere. That do different drugs that you may be used to doing everywhere. But still, do you want to be in the Philippines, somewhere on the uh, back streets of Manila, asking around for weed? You know, kick the habit. I mean, if you, if you can take control of yourself, you know, say if you're here for a couple of months, don't do it, you know, just don't do it. Because the Turk is locking up foreigners for everything, you know. You get caught with a bag of weed, you can find yourself in, in, in jail. So, do you want to take that chance just because you're used to getting high or just because you're used to feeling a certain way it relaxes you? You know, if it's, that, if it's that important to you and you want to risk it, it's on you. I'll tell you that. But still, I would say, as a foreigner, don't do it. Don't do it, it's not worth it. It's not worth being stuck in a jail for months at a time when you know you have to be back and you have a job at home or maybe looking to live here, but still you want to take a month or even weeks out of your, out of your, out of your plans and out of your um, goals that you're looking to accomplish. You know, maybe you're looking to move, to stay in a province, but then you went to Manila and then you know in Manila before you went back to the province, maybe you try to pick up some weed and then boom, you know, so. Definitely stay away from it, guys. Just don't do drugs here in the Philippines. Stay away from it. You know, if the locals do it, leave it to the locals. Make sure you're not caught up in it. Because if you're caught up in it, you be locked somewhere. Say you don't speak the language, you don't speak, you know, Tagalog, or you don't speak the Cebuano language, or any of the other over 100 dialects that are spoken here, you don't want to be caught up in the jail. So, stay safe. Thank you all for watching this video. I really appreciate it. You guys have been showing uh, so much love to me lately you've been showing love with your comments as well and i will try to answer as much comments as possible also if you have a question for me you're welcome to contact the black filipino at gmail.com and i'll answer your question the best i can so um guys also what i'm doing is um also i have another another channel j and k and that's with me and k going around in the philippines doing normal tasks and what we're going to start trying to do is we're gonna start putting daily things happening with us. It may not be every day, maybe two or three times a week, but still we're gonna, you know, add it in chunks and make sure we add every video there. So be sure to subscribe. So me and Kay did a little skit about why, you know, different reasons why couples argue. And we got into a couple of things and I'm gonna post it in a video because I really do want you guys to watch it. I'm sure you're gonna like it. It's quick and to the point, but just take a look. I'm so tired of paying all the bills. You need to do something. Oh. You need to try harder, Jay. You said, uh... Kay, why did you bring me here? Jay, we need to talk. What do you want to talk about? Why are you commenting on the girl's video? What girl's video? What video are you talking about? What did I say? I see the video of Miranda saying you say, <laughs> nice lips. What, what, what is that? What do you mean, nice lips? I have better lips than her. <laughs> What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Yeah, guys, thank you for watching that. That was a little short for me and Kay. You know, we actually want to get into that a little bit more. We're just experimenting right with it right now. You know, uh, we want to uh, share our creative ideas we have for different situations. We'll even share um, different situations that happen in the Philippines and we'll act it out for you guys. So we definitely want to get more into that and, uh, you know, make it more interesting for you guys to watch. So uh, I just want to thank you guys for showing me love. Make sure you comment, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Let's get this here to uh, 5,000 likes. Let's go above and beyond. You guys, we've been hitting the goals. 
So as soon as you watch the video, like it, it helps me out. It helps me get suggested so uh, everyone can see my videos. But guys, let's smash that thumbs up. Let's get those comments in. I'm answering, I'm gonna try to answer as many, many questions as possible. I know you guys see me in there working, you know. Uh, I'm loving it. If I, if, I, if, I don't, if I can't answer it, I'm too busy because there could be a, you know, 100, 200 comments. You know, I'm, 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 I'm loving what you're saying because I do love what you're saying because you support me. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for all of the super chatters. Thank you for all of the people that donate to the channel. We appreciate the love. You guys help a lot more than you know. You know, I make sure to include a, um, a video of what we're doing uh, with our donations and things like that. If you join the channel, which I'm gonna uh, have a join button soon. Thank you for watching. Let's take it to the top. Over and out.